Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Reillusion and hosted by iClone 3D. I'm Trista Ross and today we're going to be looking at how we can fix bone twisting issues. Uh, very predominant when using mocap or AI motion, we can use some features to correct them in iClone 8 and you know, very simple process to do. Just takes a little bit of fine tuning. Now I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that in this scene. So if we play our scene here, you can see side by side we've got a before and after and you can see how the hands are kind of bent up in this before and they're twisted in the wrong directions, really not looking cool but you can see in the after that's all been fixed and looking nice and smooth. So you know, again, this is something that you're going to really kind of face a lot when using AI motion or mocap you're really going to kind of get these issues and they're unavoidable. So I'm just going to show you how we can actually fix them very quick and very simply. And there you can see not only the hand, but the forearm twist improperly in this case as well. So very, very um, simple to do and an issue that we can't really avoid. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the edit reach target here. And we're basically going to use this to start to fix the kind of twists here in the limbs and the bones. And we're just gonna create a dummy for the left hand, release it right away because we're gonna make the dummy link to the left hand. So we can just release that and then we'll link it to the left hand. And once we've got that linked, the dummy will totally follow the movement of the left hand. As you can see here in the clip, the dummy does follow the hand when she kind of gets hit and rolls off the car. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna flatten the dummy's motion and we'll do that. And once we've done that, we'll use the box animation for the target later on. So really simple to do. And then we're just gonna find a particular point in our timeline and break that clip in that position here. And then we're gonna to go to our end point and we're just gonna make a break here in the timeline as well. Now click in this middle section, we'll go into our curve editor and we can bring up the curve editor here and you can see uh, we've got our curves and we're just gonna basically check the specific hand part, the rotation is off, you can see the values are off and we can just use the curve editor to really kind of adjust that and bring that up here as you can see just by adjusting this curve here and we can select all the keys and actually modify them to the same value. So we'll just select all of them and then we'll increase them to the exact same value there. And you can do the same process for the axis of the other relative body parts as well. As you can see here, we're just uh, adjusting them to the exact same value at all the different parts and you know really simple to do and that's just going to kind of you know adjust these little twists as you can see here it's really kind of you know fixing that and just adjusting them and putting them in the correct position again just selecting all the parts and just adjusting the value to the same as the value that we've adjusted prior so you know it doesn't take much figuring out it's pretty simple to do and once we've done all of that, you're gonna see much, much smoother results here in the animation uh, once we've kind of got that all set. And you know, we're just going to different points where we're seeing the issue pop up and we're just adjusting the value and then we're kind of setting the rest of the keys to match that. And you can see here, it's just really kind of a simple way to you know really quickly fix it. Uh, all we're doing is using the curve editor and we're adjusting the different points of the hands uh, selecting all the keys and you know modifying them all to match the one that we've done um, so you know really really simple and you're going to get the results that you need just by doing this and following this tutorial again we'll do the same thing here and we'll go a bit further down in the timeline and we're just copying and pasting them keys just to match the same values at the different points in the timeline so really really simple to do and back to the reach target feature again we're gonna make the left hand reach back to the dummy we use. Select the target this time because we actually wanna make the hand follow the dummy box, absolutely. And we'll just correct the improper rotation of the hand and arm via the curve editor, then reach back to the dummy to maintain the path of the original movement. And if we check the before and after, um, you can see exactly how far we've come. You know, very simple way to just adjust the arm twists and the forearm twists when they're not kind of in the correct position. And, you know, it really does, you know, make the world of difference to the animation. It makes it look a lot more realistic. And, you know, it doesn't stand out like the one here on the left of my screen. As you can see, the arm twists don't look correct. 
but in the right hand side you can see it looks perfect it reacts perfectly with the car impact and it just makes for an overall much better animation so i really hope this tutorial helps and i really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial